I want to get to health care. Anthem Insurance says it's pulling out of the Obamacare exchange in Maine next year. Joining us now, Tommy Thompson, former Health and Human Services Secretary. Tommy, um, spell this out for me. What, what's going to happen here? I see Obamacare imploding, collapsing. What's the end game here? Well, the end game has got to be, Stuart, uh, that there's going to have to be a bipartisan approach to uh, health care. Uh, because reconciliation is going to end up at the end of the month, unless they're able to do some sort of miracle work in the next 72 hours, they're going to have to have bipartisan support. Well, but you will find in, in the past history, Stuart, when the things really get bad, when there's almost a, uh, a paralyzed situation or a tremendous chronic problem, like, like health care is going to be with the collapsing of Obamacare, that Congress actually does work. And I yes, think but, Congress but what is going to see get, it, and Tommy? I think they're going to have what, a bipartisan approach. Yeah, but what, would, what do we get? I mean, if you bring the, the one thing that the Democrats really want is a single-payer system. If not that, yes. they want a huge bailout of the existing system with a whole lot more taxpayer money and the continuation of the That's existing true. system. If you make this a bipartisan deal, we do not get rid of Obamacare. We don't have a new system. We've just got the old system with a little tinkering going on. That's all we get. Well, I, I, I just, uh, I hardly ever uh, disagree with you, Stuart. Uh, uh, but uh, on this one, I think you're wrong. I think you've got to be a little bit more optimistic because uh, the Republicans still control, and they still, if they are able to negotiate, they haven't done a very good job on health care yet. But I still believe I'm an optimist as it relates to health care. I think health care is so important that Congress is going to come together and they have to realize that more money is not going to fix it. Otherwise, Obamacare would have worked. They're going to have to come to finding some cost reductions. And that's something they never did in Obamacare. They're going to have to find cost reductions. They're going to have to have more competition. They're going to have to allow the insurance companies to come back in and be able to make some money on the particular products they sell. There's got to be more choice, and they've got to allow the consumers to have those choice. I really sincerely believe that better minds and people that really want to do the right thing can come together and get a health care bill that works. I admire your optimism, Tommy, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh, well, I just would like to say I loved your commentary at the beginning of the hour. Thank you very much, Stuart. Well, you, you are sir. truly a hero. Oh, wow. You can come back any time you like, Tommy. Well, you're on. You want to anchor the show? It's yours. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. Much obliged to you. Thank you very much.